Unit 7, page 72. Exercise 1. Think. What's it made from? 1. 1. 1.4 billion t-shirts are sold in the U.S. annually, but many started their lives somewhere very different. Pedro's t-shirt is made from cotton, which was grown in Brazil. The cloth was dyed in China, then it was sewn in India. Finally, the t-shirt was sent to a store in Michigan, where it was bought by Pedro's mom. International supply chains like these save manufacturers and shoppers money. But what about the ethical costs of cheap t-shirts? They are transported on ships and trucks, which produce pollution. And some factory workers aren't paid much. For example, last week, Shirin in Bangladesh earned $12, half the price of Pedro's t-shirt. Be green. Only buy clothes you really want. Don't go too crazy in the sales. 2. These cups are made from polystyrene. This is a cheap, light plastic which is made from oil and 98% air. Most of it is manufactured in the U.S. After the friends in the picture finished their drinks, their cups were thrown away. But there's a problem. If polystyrene isn't recycled, it can last for hundreds of years. Sadly, a lot of plastic trash ends up in the sea, where it is eaten by animals. More than a million birds and thousands of turtles, seals, whales, and other marine animals were killed by plastic last year. Be green. Paper cups are slightly better. Real cups or mugs are best of all. 3. Paper was invented in China in around 100 B.C. Most modern paper is made from wood. Last year, billions of trees were cut down and 35% of the wood was used for paper. Environmentalists worry because the world's largest and oldest forests are shrinking. Between 1991 and 2000, in the Amazon rainforest, an area larger than Spain was deforested and in 2012, an area the size of Greece disappeared. What was the land used for? Well, it was mainly used for cattle farms. Many of us enjoy eating beef, but it isn't a very environmentally friendly food because cows need a lot of land. Be green. Recycle paper and old notebooks. Oh, and maybe eat less beef, too. Unit 7. Vocabulary. Materials. Page 74. Exercise 1. Example. A leather purse. 1. A plastic bottle. 2. A glass jug. 3. A paper bag. 4. A cotton t-shirt. 5. A cardboard box. 6. A woolen hat. 7. A pair of denim jeans. 8. A metal spoon. 9. A wooden table. Unit 7. Vocabulary. Materials. Page 74. Exercise 2. Example. They're leather. I wear them on my feet when I go hiking. 1. They're metal. I use them to cut paper and cardboard. 2. It's wooden. I sit on it when I'm eating in my kitchen at home. 3. It's woolen. I wear it around my neck when it's cold. 4. It's thin and plastic. I use it to buy things in stores or on the Internet. Unit 7. Communication. Explaining what you want.
Page 76. Exercise 1. 1. Excuse me, I'm looking for a kind of gadget, but I don't know what it's called in English. Okay. What does it look like? It's small and it's made from plastic. Hmm. What's it used for? It's used for filming and sending videos with a computer. Ah, do you mean one of these? That's it. Thanks. What's it called in English? A webcam. It's spelled W-E-B-C-A-M. 2. Hi, can I help you? Um, I'm looking for some American cookies, but I don't know what they're called. Okay, I might be able to help. What are the cookies made from? They're made from chocolate and cream. And what do they look like? Um, they're round, and they look like cookie sandwiches. They are often eaten with milk. Ah, do you mean Oreos? Like these? <laughs> That's it. Thanks. I love Oreos. Unit 7. Communication. Explaining what you want. Page 76. Exercise 2. 1. It's a kind of gadget. 2. What's it called in English? 3. Can I help you? 4. What are the cookies made from? Unit 7. Communication. Explaining what you want. Page 76. Exercise 3. Excuse me. I'm looking for a kind of light, but I don't know what it's called in English. Okay. What does it look like? It's small. And it's long and thin. What's it made from? It's made from plastic and glass. Um, what's it used for? It's used for seeing at night when you're camping. You can hold it in one hand. Unit 7. Communication. Explaining what you want. Page 76. Exercise 4. Do you mean one of these? That's it. What's it called in English? It's a flashlight. It's spelled F-L-A-S-H-L-I-G-H-T. Unit 7. Grammar. The Passive. Simple Past. Page 77. Exercise 3. Example. Where was denim invented? France. 1. Where was the first pair of modern denim jeans manufactured? The U.S. 2. When were the first jeans sold? The 19th century. 3. Who were the first jeans bought by? Farm workers. 4. Who were jeans made famous by? Marlon Brando and James Dean. 5. When were jeans first worn by teenagers? The 1950s. Unit 7. Skills. Reading. Page 78. Exercise 2. Saving the planet. Something to laugh about? The environment is in trouble. Since the early 20th century, the average world temperature has risen by about 0 0.8 degrees Celsius. One of the biggest causes of global warming is high energy use. Modern life depends on technology, and a lot of energy is needed to light and heat buildings, power vehicles, or simply operate our computers and cell phones. When fossil fuels like coal and oil are burned to produce energy, they create greenhouse gases. These are gases which stay in the Earth's atmosphere and make the world hotter. Waste is also harming the planet. It pollutes the environment and we're running out of places to put it. So why aren't we doing more to be green?
Well, some people are frightened by the size of the problem and prefer not to think about it. Others find the environment a boring topic. Some of us are simply lazy or forgetful. However, one team of researchers in Sweden believe that they can change our behavior by making it fun to do good things. This is called the fun theory. In one experiment, the researchers wanted to reduce litter in the town center, so they painted the world's deepest can on a trash can. When trash was thrown in, a sound effect was activated. Users heard the sound of a long fall and then a big crash. People loved it. In one day, 72 kilograms of trash was collected in the fun can. In a normal can nearby, only 31 kilograms was collected. The researchers also wanted to encourage recycling. When something is recycled, it is used again, and less energy is wasted. However, only a third of all trash in the U.S. is recycled. In another experiment, the team converted a glass bottle bank into an arcade game. When people put a bottle into the bank, they saw lights and they scored points. In 24 hours, the fun bank was used by nearly 100 people, while a traditional bottle bank was only used by two people. These experiments suggest that the fun theory works. Perhaps in the future, we can have more fun and save the planet. Unit Seven: Skills, Listening, Page Seventy-Nine, Exercise Three. Excuse me, could I ask you a few questions about the environment for a survey? Sure. Great. Thanks. Can I ask your name? Amelia Brewer. Thanks, Amelia. First question: How green do you think you are? Not at all green. About average. Very green. Um, I'm not very green. But I'm not terrible either. I suppose I'm somewhere in the middle. I love shopping, so I probably buy too much stuff. But I try to walk as much as I can because I know cars are bad for the environment. Walking is a great idea, and it's very healthy too. Okay. Question two: How do you save energy? For example, when you leave a room, do you turn off the lights? Um. Usually, I know it's important. But I sometimes forget. I always turn my computer off when I'm not using it. I keep my phone on all the time, though. Oh no! Don't worry. It's just a survey. It isn't a test. Question three: Do you recycle at home? Yes, we do. Plastic and paper is recycled, but not glass. That isn't collected. Oh, and we recycle cardboard too. Last question: What does your school do to be green? Hmm. Well, the cafeteria stopped serving drinks in plastic cups last year. We use regular cups now, and we've got a lot of trash cans, so there isn't much litter. But we don't do any recycling. Paper, glass, plastic, and metal cans aren't recycled. They go in the regular trash. That's bad, isn't it? Maybe I should start a recycling project and campaign for change. Sounds like a great idea. Thank you very much, Amelia. Unit Seven, Skills, Speaking, Page Seventy Nine, Exercise Four. How green do you think you are? Um, I don't think I'm very green, but I know I should do more. I'm pretty lazy, so sometimes I forget. How do you save energy? I turn off the computer at night because it uses a lot of energy. My phone is never turned off though. Do you recycle at home? Yes, paper and cardboard are recycled. We also recycle aluminum cans. What does your school do to be green? A lot. For example, paper and plastic is recycled. Students are taught about the environment in class too. And last semester, our class organized fun activities to collect money for an environmental charity, like a sponsored bike ride.